you follow my channel, you know I like taking pistols as far as I can go. To do that, to hit over there at 200 yards, I got to have a red dot. The iron sights and the holdover, it just really doesn't work at that distance. There's a new company out. They just launched at A-R-O-R-Y, Aurori or Aurori. I'm not sure how to say it. Forgive me if I said that wrong. Anyway, they got a red dot here, and that is you know, their premiere they asked me to review it, and you know what that means. That means we're going to torture test it, and we're going to put it you know, through the ropes. Anyway, I'm also reviewing Dagger's full size here. You know, It just seemed like a great opportunity. Let's see what we can do with this little red dot, and let's see just how tough it is. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give honest product reviews. No podium, no pulpit, and no politics. If you want that, go to somebody else's channel or watch the news. Anyway, let's just take a look at the specs and tech and see what we've got here. I'm going to get this zeroed, and then we're going to start having some fun. We're going to see how far we can go. You know, can I take the dagger to 200 yards with the red dot? I'll tell you, if the red dot is really not very good that that's going to be really hard. It's kind of a combo of the two, but I've shot enough of the daggers. You know, we should be able to do that. Anyway, let's take a look at the specs and tech. Okay, super fast, out of the box. I like it. comes with a hard copy for the manual. That's great. Got a cover, pretty simple, you know, plus, minus, we'll get into that. The battery goes here, elevation, windage. Now it does have a light sensor on the front so we can do auto adjust or manual. And we just turn it on here. And then to change between the auto, you press and hold, I think it's the plus or the minus. And you can rotate between those, but then even in the auto mode, you can still essentially change your settings up or down with the up or down buttons. Does come with a Picatinny base. I love this. I wish all pistol optics would just come with this. And then it's got our tools and some screws and our battery. There you go. Wanted to show you real quick how the battery pops out. So a lot of people hate the bottom load, especially me. I don't mind the top load. Um, so it just pops out like that. Now they do have a lifetime warranty. So if it ever does leak, um, yeah, they'd be happy to replace it. And when they launch in about a week or so, which would be when you're watching this, you'll want to check out their website event. They've got bonuses and stuff like that. It, uh, I think People can enter their own videos and get discounts or something. I don't know. You'll have to check it out for more details. Okay, they did just recently release this. So if you go to their webpage, they've got like a contest that's going on, all the details there. Now, down below in the description, I have, you know, the cost and the links and the discount and pretty much everything that you're going to need. Check that out in the description. Anyway, that should give you all the information you need. I got it zeroed. Let's start having some fun. Okay, getting this sighted in, the adjustments, okay, the elevation and the windage, it's got the it's got the marks, but they are not audible or palpable. It just kind of turns. So you have to guesstimate or pay close attention to the lines because you're not gonna feel it and you're not gonna hear it. I would like to see that change. They're also a little bit 
loose. I would like to see those a little tighter. I don't know that they're going to walk out, but I'd like to see just a little bit tighter. And again, audible palpable clicks is really big for me. Okay, real quick, I want to show you the sight picture and the dot so you can see what I'm looking at. All right, that's a pretty good looking dot, guys. It's a good sight picture. It's not perfect. I wouldn't give it a 10, but I think I would definitely go an eight. You know, I'd even go a nine out of 10 on that. Um, yeah, I like it. Let's uh, let's see what we can do on so some We're back stuff. here at the CQB range. Let's see how fast we can transition. Let's see how we can do here at 25. Not bad. All right, guys. Do you like crazy, stupid deals? <laughs> yeah, I find the best crazy, stupid deals. You go to my webpage. It's an email sign up. It costs you nothing. And you can unsubscribe at any time, people love it. Companies are blasting me with emails all day long. I find the best ones and I put them in a list and I usually shoot it out at the end of the day. Now, during the days they're coming in, I'm putting them on my X page. You're going to want to check that out as well. People love it and it's a little bit uh, faster in case things you know, run out of stock versus the email that kind of comes out at the end of the day while you're on my webpage. Check out the, the blogs and the recipes. I got a lot of cool stuff. Also, I've got a membership on YouTube where I do, re, you know, reviews and videos uh, just for the members. You know, things like, uh, you know, how to find the best ammo, how to find the ammo that your gun likes, how to find the best deals, you know, the tricks of the trade, the behind the scene, all for the price of a cup of coffee. Anyway, back to the review. dot go there it is hey that was better Okay, let's see how we can do without the camera in between my arms and in my face. Well, there you go. You know, as I say, it is what it is. What time is it? That's right. It's this time. And I think this is probably beyond what it's rated for. 
right, so we dropped 13 feet onto concrete. And I was a little concerned about the battery compartment. I'm glad that it didn't fly out, but it did pop out. So now, looks like that's where we landed. Now we're gonna throw it in the hot tub. So this is IPX6 rated. So we're gonna throw it kind of in the shallow here. And we're gonna give it 20 minutes. All right, guys. Still on. Nice. Okay. I'm going to wash it off with some fresh water and then we're going to throw it in the freezer. Nice. Let's uh, get it thawed out and dried out and back on the gun. Okay, so I have discovered over time when doing torture tests that a lot of times optics will keep working even if they took on water and failed the submersion test. Now, I'm not going to call this a fail because it was IPX6 rated and I tested it more like an IPX7. It did get some water there in the battery compartment. Now, when I took the battery out, it was still working, um, but the shake awake didn't come back on. Let me just put the battery back in and show you. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't get video that showed that it was working before I took the battery out, but once I took it out and kind of shook a little a little bit of the water that was in there, it, it's not coming back on. But again, it was not rated for the way that I torture tested it. Now, one thing, suggestion is if this was extended or they could just put a little screw in there. I've seen that on other optics like some of the hollow suns and SIGs. Um, that would potentially um, increase the IPX rating on this, making it so that this, if that was indeed where the breach was, it does have an open admitter. Um, and I know that you can also make that IPX7 even with the open admitter. The open admitter does give uh, the best dot. So anyway, what I want to do is I want to test this actually how it's rated and make sure that it passes with an IPX6. Okay, if you're not familiar with the IPX rating, that is the water resistance or water submersion rating. Now this is an IPX6, which means that you can hit it with water under pressure from any direction. So what I did was not what it was rated for. So let's test it. And what it's actually rated for. And this would, this would far surpass any rain that you're in. You know, so other than going underwater, assuming this passes, you would be good to go. Okay, still on. Now let's just go downstairs and open up the battery compartment and make sure that it did indeed pass. Okay, so we gotta test the shake awake here and it's on. We'll see how long that takes and then see how fast it wakes back up. Okay, so our dot is gone and it's asleep. I just saw there, so there it is. And it's back on. Nice. Okay, so I did pull the battery out and it did get water on the inside. So it did fail the IPX6 rating. Um, it is still working. In fact, I just tested the Shake Awake and that's still working. Take a look at that. So yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll let it dry out and see if it continues to work, but you know, there you go, guys. As I always say, it is what it is. Well, there you go, guys. As I always say, it is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope that this answered all your questions and that you got what you were looking for. If so, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and comment. Hit the subscribe button. Um, until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that we're on the range and we're shooting, that makes you an ambassador for the Second Amendment, whether you like it or not. So be a good one. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.